Hi guys, how are we going? Welcome back. Um, version 2 of the fully automatic plan. I just want to say first of all, thanks for the engagement on the last video. It's been absolutely fantastic. It popped off quite well for me. So I really appreciate that. While we're here, if any of you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, feel free to do so. I really appreciate it. We're on the way to the 1000 subs mark. And we're slowly picking up a little bit of traction. We died off a little bit. Version 2. So you guys saw version 1 yesterday and it had it so it was able to harvest and split all of the products for one packaging station. So I had it so that it could harvest it and it had split the seeds from the fruit and veg and stuff. And the fruit and veg and stuff would obviously go up that pipe and straight into the packaging station that we've got over here. But it meant that I could only do four. I couldn't do the second stuff or anything like that. Well, after checking out Font's videos about how all of this stuff works, as well as a little bit of input from an eagle-eyed viewer who knows his stuff, I decided I was gonna redesign it because there were certain things that I had going on that we didn't need. So if you remember, we had the filtered chest on the back of each one of these things so that it'd only pull through the four things that we've got up here the biggest thing that i miss that i knew you could do but i didn't know that you could do it to this degree has changed everything completely it means that i've got rid of so many filtered chests and i've slimmed down my system and it's basically this this is it now so this one chest supplies that entire line there are no chests in this line other than this one chest how do you separate the fruits and veggies after they've been harvested? Really, really simply. On Fonts Mods, if you place a small chest on the arrow, you're able to use this as a filter. So in here, we put down these items, which basically means this vacuum pump will only pump these items. So this is how I filter it. Using this to filter the fruit and veggies and the seeds means that I can literally, well, I've, I've kind of expanded the system. This chest says only take these four things. So if you remember that our whole thing harvests and everything that harvests will sit in here. So in here we'll sit fruit, veggies, spuds, the lot. This new system here says only take out carrots, beets, tomatoes, and broccoli, which it will do. And it will send them off to packaging. What it now means is we can harvest all of the seeds as well. Over here in this chest, we've got every single seed other than cotton. I never grown cotton. It's just not something I've ever done, but everything else. We've got the first four items that go to the packaging station that I'm right next to. We've got the second four items that go to the second packaging station. And I've also got potatoes. We can now harvest potatoes. And this is fantastic. So what we've got here is a little bit funky. I knew that you could drop blocks below the ground, but I wondered if you could drop the uh, vacuum pump pipes through the ground. And it turns out you can. With that in mind, I set up this like little seed silo, if you like. If you open this button, the top slides off. It's a little bit janky, so I only run on one bear and the top is quite heavy. But under here, I have six chests. Do not worry about the colored chests. They are literally for my purpose to help me work out different orders so what we've got here is six chests each chest has one of fonts magical chest detection devices here this device looks at the chest and is also linked to a light when the light is lit up it means that chest is full it's it's that simple so i've got a storage unit here for all of my seeds then what we've got is it comes out the back goes underground again and it comes up here this could be a little bit better but at the minute this is what we've got and this is something that we built this on a live stream. We made these upgrades on a live stream. And I'm really grateful that I did because I had an eagle eyed viewer. If you remember rightly, the old system set up here had a vacuum pump on the planter that sucked out of a chest that was here. Well, I realized once I built all this chest system here, I was like, ah, oh, how do I get them into this chest? I'll still have to have a chest here and a vacuum pump here. And like an idiot, I wasn't thinking that a vacuum pump can work both ways until one of the viewers said, why don't you have the vacuum pump push out? I like that. That was a genius idea. So that's what we've got. We've got a vacuum pump that is running off of a sensor and a repeater. And this is basically going to fire into this chest where it's going to fill up everything. So this chest here will always be full. And then this is like a backup storage device. So that all runs into there. We just run the one chest on the planter this time. And uh, yeah, we've got this sensor here. Looks at the chest. Because when the planter goes away, we don't want this to keep firing and just shooting seeds out. So basically, 
the sensor has to detect that the planter is in place, otherwise it doesn't fire. If the planter is away, the sensor is off, and this bad boy doesn't fire. So now I can use this entire field to grow every single thing, because this is our harvest chest. We've got our first fruit and veggies go this way. Every single seed goes into our seed storage. And then we've got this little thing here. And this is literally so simple. This separates all of this. So packing station two and the spuds. So it means that I can plant everything. So it'll pull these away from the rest of the system. Package station two stuff will end up in here as well as the spuds. But then we've got this machine here with this. So this will only filter spuds and this will end up with a load of spuds in here. You can connect up an ammo box. Um, the reason why I don't have an ammo box connected up is because once the ammo box is full, I then had like a backup chest on the ammo box. So the ammo box will fill up and then the excess will go into the chest. But if I took out of the ammo box, it wouldn't kind of refill from the chest. So I found just using the chest is the easiest way to go. This entire system now can harvest everything from potatoes tomatoes carrots beets broccoli pineapple it literally can harvest every single thing it is a hundred percent automatic it splits everything all of my seeds go in one direction all of my fruits and veggies get split so packaging station one stuff goes to packaging station one packaging station two and potatoes get split over here jobs are good in. and uh, in case you're wondering what this is all about under here this is what it looks like so uh you can run the pipes underground. It was a little bit of a task to try and get it under there, but we've got it. So this goes from the vacuum pump to the cedar, and then we've got the one that goes out the back there, goes from the cedar up to that one that loads up our planter. Um, just a little bit of a video, a little bit of a changes. I knew I was missing something, and thanks to everybody that dropped in and gave me the help, we worked out what it was, and it meant that we literally could change everything and harvest everything. So I've just got everything turned off and everything is empty so that we can show you what it would look like. So if you just pretend that this is just harvested and I'll put everything in here. So it's harvested some seeds of everything. It's harvested the crop of everything. And then it would sit back there in its natural position. Now if we press this button it's going to take the seeds away. So you'll see all of the seeds disappear. So press that button and you see all the seeds disappearing. They're all going now into the massive seed system. And there's all the seeds gone. It's taken nothing else. So if we go over to our seed system. And we go into the first chest. You'll notice in here we've got all of our seeds. If we just hook this up to this over here. You'll notice that this will start to fill up with the seeds that we just had. And that's taken it from over here. So all the, the going out of here now, that's them all gone. And then if we if we go for this one, it's going to load up this. It only takes the items that it can do. And then if we turn this on this side, obviously that's firing the item that it's done so they're all gone out of there jobs are good in we still got in here it's just the package station two stuff and the spuds so if we turn this on that takes the rest of it away nothing left in this chest all good everything is now in here and if we turn this one on this will take our potatoes out so our potatoes are now in here and they're out of here so it's literally brilliant for separating everything Small little tweaks make a big difference. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for dropping by. I shall see you again next time. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.